Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to download an action from my website and to use it in Photoshop. So we're going to go ahead and launch my browser. And we're going to go to content. That's where all my resources and graphics are for your uses. And we're going to go to actions. And then we're going to go to my Photoshop actions. We're just going to download that last one. And what's going to happen is it's going to pop up in a new window and it will download right here. Okay, so since it popped up and everything, it should be my downloads file. I'm going to move it to the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in a file where I know I'll remember where it is. So that would be my... Um, actions folder it should be my pictures so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it here and click on it twice to unzip on a Mac and um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a folder called 10 foot because I like to be right now okay so it's there it should be in this folder. Now I know where it is. It's under my actions folder, my pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Photoshop. And then we're going to use a picture to use the action with. Now in my example, you can see that this, the coloring needs to be a little bit um, light on the light side. So we're probably going to go ahead and use a picture of, hmm, since I've pretty much got almost the cast of the OC here, I guess we'll add Adam Brody to the mix. Go to Photoshop, make a new document, and paste that picture in there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to my Actions tab, which should be right here. Or if it, you don't have it, it should be um, F9. So that would be actions right there in your windows or in your window tab. Okay, so since it's not automatically loaded, I'm going to press this little um, down facing arrow and I'm going to load actions. Click on load actions. And I'm going to go ahead and find where I put my actions. and open it and it should be right there. Okay, so if I wanted to apply it, I can't at the moment because it's layer one. So I can only use this action when the image is, uh, when the layer is called the background and it is italicized. So it has to be the fun image of it. So we're gonna go ahead and press play and that's it. So from Your original picture. Actually, I'm going to do something. I'm going to put all of this into a group so you can see easily. And turn all of this on. So, from the original to this picture, and this is perfect for iconing or making avatars or whatever you like. So all you have to do is just put in your fields. and flatten and click on filter and sharpen. There you have your new avatar for a forum or live journal or whatever. And that's it. Thanks for watching.